If you have been looking for a motorcycle camping chair, then I just might have the answer for you. And this is it, the Kermit chair. We'll talk about it and I'll show you how to assemble and disassemble it in just a few minutes. So this is the Kermit chair from the Kermit chair company out of Tennessee. And I'll show you the label here real quick. If you're interested at all, right there, KermitChair.com, handmade in Tennessee, and there's a number for you. Now, now, in my opinion, this is the best camping chair out there for motorcyclists. Now, it is not the lightest chair. Uh, and it's not the, I guess maybe it's not the easiest chair to set up, but it's certainly fairly easy to me. Uh, but it is one of the most durable chairs. It'll be one of the most long lasting chairs that you could ever buy. It's not the cheapest chair. Uh, it does cost a, a little bit of a price and I'll share that with you in a minute. But I got this chair uh, used. Uh, in 2015, I think I paid $75 for it off of Craigslist. These chairs at that time were normally going for about $120. And I know you look at that chair and you go, man, that's a lot of money for a little small chair. Uh, but it's made out of uh, white American oak and heavy duty canvas and aluminum. Uh, heavy-duty thick gauge aluminum there so um, you know it's just really well made it's gonna last a long time uh, I'm not gonna get into you know particulars of how much it weighs or everything it, it it probably weighs mo more than most of your little small compact fold-up camping chairs but the key to this camping chair is comfort and I can't say that enough it is comfort I've sat in those little bitty old chairs that are about the size of a, a, a pillow, you know, a blow up pillow, and you put them all together, and yeah, you can sit in them, but they're just not very comfortable, at least to me, <laughs> not very comfortable at all. So, uh, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble this chair since it's already assembled, and then as soon as we finish that, I'll show you how to reassemble it. Um, and uh, that'll be our review. And if you like it, you can go get one. I'll, I'll tell you the price at the end. Uh, and I've already shown you where to get it. But uh, I'll try to, I'll link that down in the uh, description as well. I think it's a really good chair. I paid my own money for this chair. I'm not given anything to review on this channel by anyone. I pay my own hard-earned money. Uh, and I have to be judicious where I spend that at. And this is one of those things that I think is well worth every cent uh, to spend. So let's get started here. All right, so here's the chair. Uh, to disassemble it, the first two pieces you're gonna take off are both of these cross members here. And what you'll have to do is you just have to lift up this piece of aluminum here. And then you slide that pin out and then the other pin comes out from this side and you're done. We'll get this one up here as well. Pull the aluminum back, slide the pin out, slide the pin out there. That's completed. Then you're going to get the cross members front and back. Pull on those to the front, lift up, pull to the front. Lift up, and that's done. Let's turn it around, pull out, lift up, pull out, lift up, and as you can see, it's already running to fall, fall apart here since we take this last one out. All right, there we go. 
So there you have the, uh, you know, everything's almost together except for those four pieces. And then we're, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and fold this up. And we're going to roll. So fold and roll. And now some people will try to stick these in the middle. Uh, I find that it's better to put this part in before in the bag before you try to put these in. It's just easier for me. Uh, it is a tight fit. I will tell you that. It is a tight fit. This is a, a canvas bag. It does not stretch. So. Yeah. In there like that. I like to put the, the straight pieces in next since they have these on it. These uh, aluminum pieces and I want to keep those together. So I try to put those down one side. And I get these on the other side. If they'll go that way. There's one. There's two. It's all in. Kind of get that going like that. Put it through your double D ring. And bam. There you go. There's your Kermit chair. You got your uh, carry strap so you can carry it. Uh, get off your bike to your to your uh, campsite if you're at a rally, which uh, many people that that I know that uh, go to rallies have these, and we'll move them. You know, we'll take them from the campsite over to I don't know the pavilion where we're going to sit and watch. You know, uh, entertainment for the evening, or whatever. So. That's just how simple it is. So all these people on the internet are telling you, oh, this is a big pain to set up and take down. Not at all. So we took it down. Now we're going to set it up. And it's just as easy. You know, I like to find the pieces I took out or put in last. Take those out first. Just reverse the process. And take the meat, the body, out. Set that to the side. And if there's anything hard, this initial part right here, I guess you could consider it hard. I wouldn't consider it hard at all. There's lots of different ways you can do this, but uh, you want these, the aluminum pieces, facing out. So we're going to stick that in there. Like that. Stick this one in there. And pull it, get it over the, the stud there. Same thing there. I want to do the front. And you can do it uh, folded up like that as well. Over the front. Oh, this is so hard. All right, we basically have a chair we can sit in now. Now we got to put these, the I guess you'd call the leg support and the back support on. Uh, I'll put the leg support on first in, in this. And then raise this piece of aluminum up. Slide that in there. And that lock, aluminum piece goes back down, locks it in. There you go in there. Pull the piece of aluminum back. Slide that pin down in there. And this one, keep it all taut, bam. So just like that, in less than, I don't know, that might have been a minute and a half, two minutes tops, there it is, set up. You know, so anybody that complains about this, uh, the setup, 
uh, is just pretty fucking lazy. So, uh, great chair, very comfortable. Uh, I'll sit it here in just a minute and show y'all, move the camera around. All right. So this is me sitting in the Kermit chair. And I got to tell you, this is a very comfortable chair. Um, if you need a chair, this is a great chair. I just looked up on their website. Number one, they're sold out. Number two, they're charging a hell of a lot more money than they did seven years ago when I bought this one. So that is a con to this chair. Uh, but I think the fact that I've had this chair for over seven years and when I bought it, it was used is a testament to its longevity. Now, right now they charge $269 for this chair and I know your, your eyes are bulging and, uh, you're going, there is no fucking way I am paying $269 for a chair. You know what? I get it. Uh, you might get lucky like myself and find somebody that has a used one that wants to sell it. That is always uh, a way to go. You might be looking for a while though. So, you know, that's an option. But $269, yeah. Uh, I don't know that uh, I would buy this chair brand new again. Um, of course, I didn't buy it brand new, but the fact of the matter is $269 is a lot of money for some people. I know it's a lot of money for myself, May not be a lot of money for you, may not be a lot of money for the comfort that you're going to get out of sitting in this chair over some other chair. Uh, and again, that's just my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, then that's fine. Just move on down the YouTube road. Uh, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for a comfortable chair uh, that you can carry on your motorcycle, this is a great chair to have. And I'm not sure what else I can say about it. Uh, there are accessories that come with the chair or that you can buy for the chair. They certainly aren't uh, free and they certainly aren't cheap either. They do have leg extensions. As you can see, I'm sitting uh, rather low right now, but see, this is the way I like it. I like sitting low. I like being able to just let my, my legs uh, go out like that. And I'm very, very comfortable in this position. Very comfortable with my legs up like this. Um, those are usually the, you know, the two ways I sit. I have had the leg extensions before and to me it sits up just like, kind of like a regular lawn chair. Um, but I find that this is more comfortable for me. It might not be comfortable for you. Uh, it does, uh, I believe they also have, so they have leg extensions. I think they're about $50. Uh, so I know again, it's getting pricey. They do have a cup holder. Uh, that goes on the side here and I would recommend for $20 uh, getting one of those. Uh, I need to get one myself. I have been uh, delaying and delaying and delaying and all my friends that have these, uh, they all have the cup holders and uh, I find myself uh, jealous every time I, I, I'm with them. So anyway, uh, there might be one or two other, two other things that they have on their website, uh, kermitchair.com. I think they also sell a, a table, a fold-up table. Um, but again, I like this. It's very durable. It's gonna, it's gonna last me my motorcycling career. If you know, as long as I take care of it, as long as I don't abuse it. Um, I'm not sure what they're rated for in poundage. I'm uh, 215 pounds. I know that uh, I know that Don from um, Moto Giant uh, has had one before. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's a lot more than 215 pounds, so they can hold uh, a lot of weight, uh, you know, but he's very tall as well. 